Hi, Rose Mollers and wannabe Rose Mollers. I want to introduce you to a new website called rosemollingclasses.com. About 18 months ago, I had my first Rose Mauling class, and it really changed my life. Um, I think and breathe Rose Mauling right now. I'm just absolutely in love with it. But what I did discover was that finding Rose Mauling classes were difficult. You either had to know where to go, who to talk to, what to Google. Uh, it wasn't as straightforward as, as I thought. I grew up in a very, very heavily dense uh, Norwegian area of Minnesota. And growing up, um, rose mulling classes, you know, I heard about them all the time. But now when I wanted to find a rose mulling class, um, I was really, really kind of stumbling around. So what I did is I created a website that will help us do just that, find a rose mulling class. You can either click this button here, or you can click the button up here at the top, at the top of the website. Obviously, launching this website during COVID-19 seems a little counterproductive because obviously a lot of classes aren't taking place. But we have, I have all the classes listed here. So let's just pop down to July. Let's just say that magically we can all go to our classes in July, and let's hope we can. But I've got classes here, um, and I've scoured to find what I could. Um, I've been in contact with many rose mulling instructors and rose mulling associations, but we have uh, classes up in North Dakota and California, Wisconsin, Iowa, more in Iowa, um, and you know Minnesota. We have them all listed here. So my goal is, is that when you're looking for your next rose mulling class, you're gonna pop over to rosemullingclasses.com and you're gonna find a class near you. Also, the other things that we have on the site, um, what is rose mulling? So if someone uh, is just kind of stumbling around, I heard about this, what is it? I've got a little information there. And then resources. Sometimes we're looking for a specific Norwegian piece, um, or what kind of paint to buy. Here I've got some of the common places you can buy your, your art supplies. Obviously you can always use your local art supply, but these are ones that um, I know carry many of the, the commonly requested things that inst rose mulling instructors request that you have when you come to class. And then woodenware. So here's access to that. And then different online resources, YouTube channels, Instagram, and you know this site is new so it's developing all the time and based on user feedback we'll add more information you know here i just added um commonly used background colors what you know what brand and what colors are commonly used for norwegian rose molly the other thing i'd like to share with you is if you have a class or you know of a class that is coming up that's not listed on the site please send the information it's free we will, we will post the class right here. Um, the other thing I want to show you are, um, we also have a link to the Rose Mulling Clubs around the country. I know I am missing some here. Um, some of them have, don't have websites. Um, some of them are a little bit more closed groups where they're not really promoting anything um, other than to their small knit Rose Mulling Club, but that's okay. I've got, um, the majority listed here. If you have a Rose Mulling Club that doesn't have a site, I will gladly feature your site here. Um, for instance, we've got Terrace Mills um, in central, west central Minnesota. They don't have a website, but they're very active and they offer classes. And in fact, they have a couple of classes calling, coming up in June and in September on Swedish folk painting and in Hollingdahl. And you can you register directly with the club. You don't, nothing comes here, but um, this will give you access to what to do to um, take part in those classes. And as well as if you want to become a member of the association, who to contact. And I'll encourage you to join some of these clubs. We've got some national clubs, Rose Mullen Coast to Coast, great organization, a lot of a lot of talented, experienced Rose Mullers. Are a part of this club and that doesn't mean you need to be talented and experienced because I know I sure am not 
and I belong, and it's a valuable resource to help you, you know, encourage you and help you get in contact with fellow Rose Mahlers. And then, of course, Westerheim Norwegian American Museum down in Decorah, Iowa, where you're going to give the bulk of your, you know, some excellent classes in Rose Mahling are conducted down there. So here's uh, a list. And again, if you have a, an association, send me um, information, email me, and we'll make sure that it gets um, it gets posted. Um, I also have a blog started, and I've got a couple um, articles already up there for you to read. And I'm going to take you through my first year of rose modeling, what I did, some of my huge blunders, some of the fun things I've discovered, the people I you can kind of follow along with me. And then a rose modeling forum. This is where we can kind of post our questions, you know, share your best rose modeling tip. What do you like? Oil, acrylic, and why? What's your favorite brand of acrylic paints? Um, let's get some active discussion going here. Again, to help spread rose modeling across the US, because we don't want rose modeling to be, become a dying art. We want it to be living and breathing here in the US with all our with all the Norwegian Americans that live here. So again, I encourage you, please visit rosemullingclasses.com. We also have a Facebook channel, a YouTube channel, and we're on Pinterest and Instagram. So follow us. So let's get rosemulling, everybody. Again, rosemullingclasses.com.